Here to weigh in, Fox News contributor and president of the Independent Women's Voice, Tammy Bruce. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. So dividing America by race and religion. And I mean, this is the party of identity politics. There's a lot of irony in that. Well, this is infuriating. This is an event, a horrible uh, uh, mass, uh, mass murder that all Americans agree on, that we, we, we recognize this horror. We know it's not blaming anybody who's in politics here. And yet the, the Democrats' hatred for the president eclipses their understanding of that and their desire and the ability to bring people together, which is part of the job of politicians in some way, yeah. is to have us all be recognized in that way. They not only don't know when to stop, they don't care at this stage. There's the irony of that, co of that comment, is blaming the president for dividing people as he is effectively blaming right. the president's supporters. Because when they attack the president, he is effectively a stand-in for the American people who voted for him. Right. Yeah. Well, and in the case of the mail bomber, there was a rush by some in the media to say there's pro-Trump, pro-Pence bumper stickers on that white of van. Course. But then in, in the case of Pittsburgh, they're less likely to, to rush to point out that this murderer, and that's what he is, right. Um, had tweets in and either social case, media. Ed, in either case, he hated those, Trump. He hated those Trump. Those have, my point. Have not mattered. Yes, of course. But the facts on either end don't matter. Obviously, in Florida, as no, this guy it was a career cr criminal. Anything would have pushed him over the edge. That had nothing to do with the president. This has nothing to do with the president. This has to do with the American people. And frankly, 325 million Americans, 24/7 a day, attacks on the president and his supporters, a majority of Americans, for almost two years now. It is astounding with so many people in this country that there are so few attacks. Any attack, of course, is right. too many. And yet that is the testament to the discipline and to the decency of the American people. And yet the Democrats and other liberal legacy media continue to tell us that America's going down the drain, that this is happening everywhere, that Americans are divided, that hate controls us. Oh, no, it doesn't. It might control some people in Washington. It does not control the American people. Anyone watching this program understands that. And this is now as really it's all about the, the, the politics of it. And these are the people, the Democrats, who clearly well, don't care about the, the future of this country. You make such a great point. And I think what's interesting is despite all the negative um, uh, press that the president gets, even before he was elected of during course. the campaign, yes. the American people seem to be very savvy. They seem to not buy into um, what they're being told to believe by others correct. on the other side. So are the Democrats in danger here, 10 days out of an election, of overplaying their hand, just as they did in the Kavanaugh situation? Well, they, they are. And you see these series of events. The American people have seen that. The fact of the matter is, I think most people have already have decided what they're going to be doing for the midterm. What the Democrats, though, are trying to do is depress people. This is their mission. Not talk about the issues, not convince us and persuade us on how somehow they might be better. Their behavior has been very clear in the last several months about how their behavior would look. They want to punish us for what we did in 16. Right. So so I think people have decided it's, it's about enthusiasm. An, an NBC poll just last mm -hmm. week found the comparative time for the 2016 election to now GOP and uh, early voting turnout up plus six. Early voting turnout for the Democrats down minus five. That's a, signa a signal of enthusiasm. Interesting. Uh, and so I think they're recognizing that they, they can't persuade us because we've rejected what they stand for. Uh, but what they're trying to do is depress the American electorate uh, and shame on them. And with this horrific dynamic for the Jewish people, which means for all of us, we're all of the tree Absolutely. of life, of right. course, um, uh, is, is a testament to what they prefer, which is being led by their own hatred and divisions and pointing fingers at the president who every rally, every statement calls for unity, call, for love of this country yeah. and for people to come together. And, and Americans will make their decisions. And, and I and but the I president hope, uh, has said that he's right concerned one. that these events will, you know, sort well, of yes. slow that momentum. Well, but, look, it is. Yeah. It, this, it, these are depressing events. They're saddening events. You've got the legacy media and the Democrats, many uh, who are heroes for the American people, trying to reinforce that. I think the American people will come back, though, and do the right thing. All right. Tammy Bruce, appreciate it. Always Thank great you. having you. Thank you.